hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're definitely welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload new videos so in today's video i'll be creating this look using the perception palette from makeup shayla and colourpop cosmetics so if you want to see how i achieved the look then definitely keep on watching these are the colors that i'll be using for my eye look today i'm first going to take revenge from the perception palette and i'm going to go ahead to start applying that in the crease I really want to make sure that this color is well and nicely saturated so I'm going to take my time in building this color before I go ahead to blend it out. That is why I'm stamping the colors in the area and the shape in which I want it to be in before I go ahead to blend it. Next, I'm going into the same palette and I'm taking that orange shade which is Culture. Now I'm going to put this in my transition area. I'm going to use this to blend the edges of the last color we applied in our crease using a large blending brush. So I lost the pigmentation of the first color we applied which is Revenge. So I'm going back to apply that at the outer corner of my eyes, the outer V of my eyes and also put it into my crease also. To smoke out the outer V of my eyes, I'm going into the palette and I'm taking the darkest shade which is played out on a flat blending brush. Now I'm going to apply this at the outer view of my eyes and I'm also going to take that same shade into my crease area. So going into my Colourpop No Filter Concealer in medium 34, I'm applying this all over my lid area and also above my crease. I'm not going for a cut crease look today, I just want to blow out the shade and extend it above my crease area. To fill in the lid area, I took the shade Culture from the Perception palette and I applied that all over the areas where I apply concealer. So I picked up more of the darkest shade that is played out from the palette and I used it to blend the edges of the lid color. Going into the same shade I applied in my crease, I'm applying that in between the darkest shade and also the lead shade just to make sure that everything is well blended out and that there are no harsh lines. So 
so over here i'm just creating a winged liner before i go ahead to apply my mascara my lashes and then move on to my face I'm going in with my Maybelline Colossal Kajal Eyeliner to tightline my waterline and once I'm done with this, I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then move on to my face. So I'm done with my eyes for now and I'm moving on to my skin. I already did my primer and moisturizer off camera and now I'm moving on to foundation. For my video today, the foundation I'm using is my Nuban Beauty in my skin foundation and I'm in the shade W6 which I believe is warm 6. But I'm in the shade W6. And I'm using my sealing foundation brush to apply this and blend it out. Next is concealer and for concealer today I'm using my early girl pro concealer in the shade fawn and I'm also going to top that up with the Colourpop no filter concealer in the shade medium 34. Now I'm going to apply this in all the areas where the light will naturally hit my face, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow and under my eyes. So to blend out my concealer and all the areas where I applied it, I'm using my Damn Beauty Blender from Nuban Beauty. So once I'm done blending out all the areas where I apply concealer, I'm going to go in with my S-Pon setting powder to set those same areas where I apply the concealer. So I'm going to go ahead to blend once more to make sure that the concealer hasn't settled into any lines or creases underneath my eyes. So I'm using the same beauty blender I used in blending out my concealer to apply the powder. So next, I'm going to go ahead to set the rest of my face and I'm using my J Cosmetics 6-in-1 Face Press Powder Palette and I'm taking the shade Natural on a large fluffy powder brush. So next, to contour my face, I'm taking the shade Cappuccino from the J Cosmetics powder palette. I'm going to use this in my cheekbone, my jawline and also my forehead. I'm also going to use that same shade to contour my nose. I'm going to go ahead to finish the eye look. I'm first going to take the first shade I used, which is the shade Culture that I used in my crease area. Now I'm going to apply this under my lash line and then blend it out. And after that, I'm going to take the darker shade, which is played out, and also apply underneath my lash line.
to set the makeup and keep it in place i'm going to use my noban beauty setting spray for today's look there won't be any highlighter because i'm trying to do a soft glam all matte look so now i'm using my zaron lengthening mascara on my bottom lashes So I'm going ahead to line my lips and I'm using my Davis Pencil in number 18. For the lip color, I really didn't know which color I wanted to use because I think I tried about 2 or 3 colors. But I ended up sticking with the Beauty by AD lipstick in color Candid. So I went ahead to brighten up the lip color by using my Colourpop X Makeup Shader lipstick in Quickie. I wish I had just left it the way it was but it was still good guys. So guys, this is the completed makeup look. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the list of the products I used and also click my link so that you can watch my review on the Nuban Beauty products. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.